Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the photoacademy.du and on this video tutorial I show you the plugin from Topaz Labs, black and white FX, in combination with the On One software plugin Perfect Layers. And with this image here, this one I like to have in black and white but I like to have two different kinds of it and you will see what I mean in a second. So at first we go in and say edit and a topaz and after we have a virtual copy we go in in black and white FX it's a new plugin from Topaz Labs you can find a video on our, on our page of the Photo Academy and for this video tutorial I choose my own preset and here you see what I mean with I like to have two different kinds of image or two different processed image. Um, this graininess over here in the water, it's too much, it's too heavy for me, but I like all the details, the small details here on the stones and all the rocks and everything. I like the harsh contrast but not in the water and that issue I can I can solve with uh, two different processed images I paint together. Um, this is okay for this one we click OK and vignette or a little bit of a fine-tuning I can do with the Lightroom. So again we go into this original image and again we choose Edit in Topaz. We get another copy of this. We choose black and white effects and we choose my own preset as well but on this I change the details, the detail boost and the graininess as well. I like to have a little bit of it even in the smoother part of the image but not so hard and we can go back and take a look on the details. It's okay. There's no need to protect highlights. I will have a little bit of contrast but not so much. This we can change in the basic. This is too much for sure. So a little bit of darkness and there's no need to boost the blacks but we can boost the white a little bit but not so much I, just now I take a look on this area here while I boost the the whites can go back with the project highlights a little little bit something like that yeah this is okay I think can go back with the darkness. Yeah, this will be okay for this image I like to have afterward. So and now we have two different black and whites here in the Lightroom. I select them both with the control and click and we go in in the plugin extras and choose the on one software perfect layers
So while we are here, we change the layers. So we have the the hard layer on top. Then we invert the mask and we can go in and say paint in and we can paint in all the details from the upper image. I think it's much easier for this special image to paint in. I can take a bigger brush and we can paint in all this stuff here. And it's so nice if you can edit the video after you shot it. So I take a little break for this video and paint a little bit more. Yeah, I painted all the areas with the 100% opacity. And uh, now we can go down a little bit to paint some some areas where we don't want to have a full opacity. There may be some areas you like with the 50% or something like that. Here I like a little bit more of it. I paint two times and uh, same here on this too, I like to have it. And even areas which are hard on the edge from the sharpness and the blur in the water. And the blur is from a long time exposure. It's a 20 second exposure here from the Baltic Sea of Stockholm. So it's a little bit of fogginess in this water areas around the stones. I like to have it, but I like to see some more detail. So I go in and paint a little bit more of the details into the into the areas I like. And you can even go down with the opacity from the whole layer if you want to change this a little bit to get back a little bit of the of the layer underneath. Yeah, you, you got the idea. You can uh, take much more time to paint more exactly on this all areas you like to have more detail or you can change all the paintings by your taste what you like for your special image this is to show you what is possible to the end we can go in and say save so we save this image to our Lightroom and there we have a um, PSD file from the perfect layers and then you can go in and take a little bit of a vignette something like this maybe maybe you like to have a little bit clarity, a little bit more of a contrast. Oh, this I like very much. This is up and down with the clarity, not so much. If you're too slow with the clarity slider, you will not, you're not able to see all the changes. So sometimes it's better to choose a higher level or a lower level to see what's happened. And then you can uh, choose something in between. 
Yeah, I think uh, this is something I like for this image. And I can save it, I can export it from the library. I can save or export it as a JPEG to my hard drive, can upload it to my website or whatever you want to do with it, print it maybe. Yeah, this is uh, it for this video. Two plugins for the Lightroom if you only have Lightroom to process all your images. It's no problem. You can take plugins like the Topaz to get different images out of it, of the one image, and then you can paint them together with the perfect layers from on one software. So you, even if you only have Lightroom, you're able to work with layers, you have, we can go back to this, you have blending modes here, so you have different blending modes inside of the perfect layer and um, I like this very much. You have a preview if you jump through these blending modes with your mouse cursor you have a preview directly on the image so you know what's going on. This is something I like very much of this uh, perfect layers. Yeah you are able to use different images, you can paint them together, you can mask them together with this perfect layers. Yeah, like I do very often, you can choose different black and whites. I do a lot of black and white works and um, I like to do this very quickly out of the Lightroom and this is the reason why I use the Topaz black and white plugin for Lightroom and the Perfect Layers plugin for Lightroom to get the much out of it in the quickest time. Yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.